Anyways, figured I'd update you guys. So, you guys all remember the snowmobile build. Like, come on. Th this was a really fun build for me to do. Pro R swapping my 2013 Polaris Rush 800. And um, it, it was such a great machine at, uh, during the winter. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't gotten you guys any riding footage, which really sucks. Um, I should have, and I regret not getting any, but, um, I, I should totally look into a GoPro mount for the side of my helmet, because, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna mount it to the top of my helmet, that looks silly. Um, definitely gotta do the side, or under the helmet, definitely can't have it on top, that's, that just looks too weird, but, um, I do have this up for sale, and someone is coming to look at it in the morning, um, and uh guys i'm i'm not gonna lie to you it's it's gonna be sad to see this thing go it it's been such a great machine for me and it was so much fun building it and um just working on it it's so easy to work on but um the reason i have the plastics down is i was about to take the hood off just top off the coolant a little bit and um yeah jeez. This is going to be probably the last video that you guys will ever see of it. So, uh, guys, it has 974 miles on it. So I put approximately like maybe 425 on it or something. Maybe 420. Right in there, a little over 400. Not a single problem. Not a single problem at all. Thing has taken it. And um, this thing will just be such a reliable machine for whoever ends up with it. So I am uh, sad to see it go, but also it uh, will help out with uh, projects in the future. And um, guys, who knows? I might end up with another snowmobile build. Um, you guys see that one over there? That one's my dad's. Um, he's keeping it for another year, um, he says. Um, so, uh, just thought I'd let you guys know, a little update on the snowmobile, and, um, if you guys don't see it anymore, that's why, because it sold, so, yeah, you guys have it, but, um, finishing up the boat stuff now, also, might be putting the boat up for sale, as, um, sad as that is, oh, and also, since since we're on the subject of uh, bad news, um, the Predator um, doesn't have any power. So that thing is down also. And um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find time to look at it. But um, yeah, that thing has been kind of just forgotten about. And I was having electrical problems every now and then. And I was kind of thinking like, you know, because sometimes I would be like, oh, well, it's just in first gear. I got to hold the clutch to start it. But other times it's like, all right, what's going on? And now it just won't start at all. So who knows? Maybe I, was, I just messed up and forgot the key on and the battery drained or has electrical problems. I don't know. It's either the... Um, Ignition switch or the the starter button, which I don't know if it was I don't know because it doesn't have any power at all, so I don't know what the deal is with it honestly. But um, yeah, just thought I'd uh, give you guys a little update. Scrambler still sitting here without any plastics, just uh, bare frame. But um, hopefully that'll change soon, guys. I've been trying like I need help wrapping the plastics so i've been trying to find help and i feel like it might get done soon i feel like it might get done soon so look forward to that because this thing's gonna look pretty good when it's done if if i can do it right and um same with the boat so there you guys have it